What's up guys, welcome to today's video. It is March 20th, 11.50 in the morning right now. Uh, today's gonna be just take you guys through the entire day of what we have going on right now. I have my girlfriend Chloe with me filming. This morning, I just decided to do this video honestly, so I wish I would've gotten the run that I did this morning, but we're still training for the Ironman 70.3. So we did a 100, 100 minute run or an hour and 40 minute run this morning. It was just over 10 miles. Um, but right now we are on our way to our first meeting of the day, which is at 12 o'clock. I'm meeting with a potential Airbnb client. For those of you guys that don't know, I manage a handful of Airbnbs on top of the ones that I own. This specific one, he follows me on social media, is actually a good friend of mine and he's moving out and he wants me to come over and kind of underwrite the deal for him to see if it's worth making it a short-term rental versus a long-term rental. So I'm gonna go over to his house, walk him through it, kind of break down what I think the numbers we can do on Airbnb and VRBO and see if it makes sense for them that way. So yeah, that's the first meeting. After that, we are headed to a few different houses. One of them we're doing a final walkthrough on that I am selling. The other one we just bought today this morning. We hit a wire transfer to buy the property. So we're just gonna do an initial walk on that one before we start reno. And then we're gonna do actually a walkthrough on our Scottsdale house, which is like just getting started on the renovation process. So a little bit of everything today. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Cool. Well, hey, uh, just wanted to reach out and touch base with you on the 30 Rio drive. Yeah, how can I help? Uh, okay, we are at our second meeting, not meeting of the day. This is our um, final walkthrough for this property. This was one of our projects that I had for the last 74 days. But quick little walk through here. If you guys want a more detailed video on this house, a full breakdown on the numbers, I'm gonna post another video right after this one that's more specific for this house. Today's video is just more general, but overall very fun project on this one. It was an $85,000 budget, but this house came out really good. Full backyard renovation as well as the interior. You guys remember this one? I bought this in January and we're selling it March 22nd. So in two days from now, it'll be sold to the new owners. I don't know if they're gonna make this an Airbnb. I assume based on their down payment amount that they are an investor. So would make a good Airbnb. I definitely thought about that for myself too because it's in a good area, a pool, no HOA. It checks off all the boxes, but it's now 1247. We're going to Scottsdale after this probably. Yeah, we have to go to Scottsdale after this. We're probably gonna grab coffee in between, so I'll see you guys in probably an hour. So it's uh, 1.50. We got our coffee. We went to two different places because I'm very particular on my cold brew, but I am working on a response right now for one of my clients. We got an offer on one of their properties. It's the condo. Um, so I'm doing that right now because it has a response time and then we just pulled up to um, the Scottsdale house. So I'm going to probably submit this right now and then we'll go in there. So a few more minutes. Here we are. This is Scottsdale. This is going to be the biggest project we've done in a while. Once again, if you guys want more details on this specific property, I'm making a separate YouTube video that will be up within the next week or so. So any details you guys want more um, explanations on things or anything like that, make sure to reference that video. But yeah, this is it. Um, pretty much just came here to film content today. We are demoing all this electrical and the next big step is getting a 23 foot, eight inch steel beam in lieu of this load bearing wall up there. So we had to get engineer plans and we have a GC coming out here and knocking that out next week. So once this is all done, then we can figure out how to reconfigure the kitchen and everything. But this is gonna be a long project. I'm not rushing this one. This is gonna be in a price point that we don't really tap into. So it's gonna be a whole different demographic in Scottsdale. So we just gotta be very careful with everything that we do here. The HOA has been up our ass already. Um, the neighbors are very nosy, just this type and that type of neighborhood, so. Hey, what's up, Nick? Hey, how are you? Good. Um, thanks for giving me a call back. Do you have one that, like, so that yeah, I can... I have someone. The thing is, is, like, some of the things on there, like, she wants the aluminum wiring swapped to copper, which is just unrealistic. Like, we can do copper pigtails. 
um, which I had, which is pretty, it's, it's really the only thing that you can do for these builds that are in the seventies when yeah. they have full aluminum. Um, so I don't know, I don't know the, I didn't look at the inspection fully, but I can send you the guy. He's going to be a little bit more expensive, but you definitely have to pick and choose what you're willing to repair. Cause that's like thousands and thousands of dollars is what she requested. And then the plumbing's additional as well. And finally, we are here at our last stop. It's 3.15. We're gonna head home after this and cook dinner, but this is the most recent purchase. It is a 1939, 940 square foot, two bedroom, one bathroom with a entire casita in the back, which I'm gonna show you guys real quick, but we usually don't buy these, these types of homes. Uh, we just got it at a good price. This was a, um, it was a cool little situation. Uh, my business partner's sister found the deal from a sign that said for sale by owner on it. Um, so we ended up working with her on this deal to get us in this. It's a not quite historic district, one block of, literally across the streets historic and this is the same age, but it doesn't fall into that specific neighborhood of being historic. So you can get away with re replacing stuff. The historic district homes have all their own rules and regulations. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, there's a lot of character in these types of houses. Like everything is solid concrete in here, the walls and everything. Um, so a ton of character. These are the original hardwood floors. Once again, this is gonna be a quick little tour if you guys want more information on this specific house. Um, you guys can f uh, check out the video that will probably be posted in a week here, but we're gonna knock this out real quick. The only thing we're doing here today is just grabbing the keys and then doing content, creating content here, and then we're gonna figure out what we actually want to do with this property later on. So I'll see you guys back home in probably like an hour and a half. So it's 8.15 8 right now in the evening. We got back a few hours ago. We had dinner, I forgot to film that. Um, but I'm just wrapping up the night right now, doing some emails, uh, a little bit of work for a couple of my clients as well. That's what I usually do. I end the night with a lot of computer work, which this is my office over here. It's not fully decorated yet. And then I'm eating another meal, which will probably be my last meal of the day. With all the Ironman training and stuff, I'm doing probably 35 to 4,000 calories a day. But that's it. I want to show you guys one thing as well. Uh -huh. We have the, oh, <laughs> we have three cats living with us now. We're living at this house now. So that's Salem, and then that's Little Leo's. Little Leo's is my favorite. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, Little Leo's. Oh, <laughs> you gotta, he's cute. You gotta tell him that he's kind of special. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh. He's a little bit special. What does he have? Cerebral hypoplasia. Yeah, so he walks around a little bit funny, but he's super cute. I'm actually severely allergic to cats, but I hang out with them as much as I can. And then Max is the orange one. He's somewhere. Um, show him the outside, too. You want to go in your little teepee? You want to go in your little teepees? So there's like the outdoor area, too, which is really yep. cool. <laughs> I can put this, so oh, yeah. Good job, little Leos. <laughs> um, I don't know where Max is. He's somewhere. He's in there. He's in here? Yeah. He's the other, the third cat. Um, but that's it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, yeah, it was a good day. The uh, doing more research on that older Phoenix house. I'm really excited about it because I do think there's a lot of potential and um, a pretty good spread on that for the purchase price we bought it for. The rest of the week, I'm closing on that Chandler house Friday. Today's Wednesday, which is really cool. So I'm kind of starting to look for a lot more deals now. We have, like I said, three or four closing the next couple weeks. So we're going to be pretty low on projects. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram and I'll see you guys later.